Alcoholics of Reddit, how or when did you recognize you had a problem? When the people I thought had a drinking problem told me how much they drank and I drank way more than they did. Wow, talk about wake up calls. If you are comfortable sharing, how did that feel in the moment or was it a gradual discovery? It was definitely a wake up call and I started to reflect on it. it took a very long time until I tried to even start doing anything about it. I'm definitely better now than I used to be but when I backslide I take a break. I haven't given it up altogether and still have an issue with binge drinking when I do but at least it's only maybe once a month compared to every other day. This gives me hope for my own drinking habits. I'm currently on a break from binging over my work break for the holidays. I'm a 30F, not very big person and I was putting back 10 IPAs every other night when my friends were having 3 to 4 regular beers. Taking a month off from drinking when I realize my drinking tolerance is higher than others has really helped me. Feels like doing a hard reset for a month every now and then can help me normalize my relationship with alcohol again. Thanks for sharing your experience, it helps to know what does and doesn't work for others. To put things in even more context that might make you feel better. At my height I was able to drink a 1.75 liters of Jameson in a night and still get up and go to work the following day. I was averaging a 750 milliliters of Jameson every other night. I'm 5 feet 11 inches and 180 pounds, so this was pretty much insane. I have now gone longer and longer completely abstaining, two months right prior to Christmas, Christmas and this year's craziness was a very difficult trigger storm for me, I work out nearly every day, and life is good. Next stint on shooting for is a minimum of 6 months. If you are looking for an alternative to the archaic AA all or nothing approach that more often statistically results in failure, check out SMART their approach to healing is far more realistic and gradual and centered more around CBT. Sounds like how improvement tends to work. Web link. A big thing for me was to stop doing it on nights where I work the next day. Sure, I might get effed up still, but the only consequence, with my current obligations, is like, leaving the oven on maybe and feeling kind of crafty. Way better than how it used to affect my jobs. To be fair, a lot of people with drinking problems lie about how much they actually drink. I used to downplay things all the time. When I started crying on my kitchen floor because I was too broke to afford any alcohol and I thought I was going to die. And my friends had an intervention with me. But it was more the shock of how upset I was when I couldn't get a drink. It was when it hit me how dependent I had become. Haven't touched a drop in a month now which is the longest I've gone in about 10 years. Week done you. Hope you manage to continue on your road to recovery. Month done. I think original post meant well done, but month works too. I am so, so proud of you. I have 6 days right now. A few weeks ago I was crying outside the liquor store in my car on Sunday morning because they didn't open until 10 am. I knew I had a problem before then, I had been sober for 14 months previously, but that was a new sense of, I don't know. Best of luck to you going forward. You got this. Hey friend, I'm on day 8. First time in at least 3 to 4 years I've gone this long sober. We've both got this. When I spent 1100 bucks in 4 days getting me and my friends as wasted as possible, only to end up fighting them in the end and having my ribs kicked in. That was this week. Worst of all, I'm a special needs child care worker. It hasn't ruined my job yet, but I know it's just a matter of time if I keep it up like this. Thank goodness I don't have a car, I and others would be ruined by now. I feel like crap, but it's nice to talk about it. Thank y'all. I'm super proud of you, my dude. It's really tough to quit cold turkey. You're killing it. Lying in a bath with a shower going after throwing up, again and again, looking my two-year-old in the face and saying daddy is sick will play tomorrow and realizing once again that I did it all to myself. Ouch. I've made it before to that point where you wonder why did I do this to myself, I have to do something about this only to go back to drinking the moment I feel physically better. Craps hard man. I got to that point with opioids when I couldn't stop relapsing and I was going through dope sickness for the 5th 6th time in a year, it's crazy when the problems you use to justify your heavy drug use solve themselves and you realize that the only thing at that point truly hurting your life is your drug problem and then you are doing it to yourself. 
So happy I went to rehab and didn't relapse when I got out. I'm going on seven months clean. Seven months is huge. Keep it up. I'm five years clean off a three year heroin addiction. Went to rehab multiple times until I finally quit. Stay strong. Good crap, bro. Evan, keep at it. I believe in you. Same. Swear to never touch it again only to end up blackout drunk the next day. Skeptical. That's so interesting to me. I effing hate being hungover and my body doesn't handle alcohol particularly well. Normally the idea of it makes me sick. It's such a foreign concept to me that people can have alcohol addictions when it has such an immediate dramatic toll on your body. I hope I don't come off like I'm talking down. I may not be an alcoholic but I have other vices that could probably be described in their extent as being unhealthy. Everyone has their cross to bear, I just can't fathom being addicted to something so icky feeling. I'm no better than alcoholics, just recognizing differences. I'm the same, I can't drink too much, I don't like how it makes me feel. But I'm a nurse and see alcoholics come in withdrawing a lot. My husband is also sober for some time now. Some people carry heartbreak and despair so deep that the physical price of being hungover and sick is worth the small amount of reprieve drunkenness gives from living in the pain. Even the physical sickness can be a welcome distraction, or a tangible way to suffer, much like self-harm. That's not something I wish on anyone, and you should count yourself fortunate that you don't know that type of despair. I don't speak for everyone and please correct me if I'm off base, but that's just what I see as a theme for most of the alcoholics I care for. You sort of get used to being hungover. Like it just becomes your default state, and it's kind of a crafty state, but it's better than the alternative. And the alternative is, well. When you're alcoholic, your life revolves around drinking. Like, I worked so I could drink, and always made sure to pass out a reasonable amount of time before work so I was mostly sober when I went in. Not because I cared about my job, I was worried about what would happen if I couldn't buy alcohol. Even eating revolved around drinking. I wouldn't eat all day so the alcohol could be absorbed faster, and just before I was ready to pass out, I would scarf down a $5 foot long from Subway. Without drinking, suddenly those 8 hours per day, which never seemed like enough time in a day before you stopped, seemed like ages. Then tack on the extra time you get from insomnia and, oh boy. You have whole lot of extra time in the day to sit and ponder your anxieties, you know, the ones that made you drink in the first place? Oh and getting drunk every night took away your ability to feel joy without alcohol, so that's fun too. That's why there's a stereotype of sober alcoholics throwing themselves into AA, or into fitness, or whatever exists. That was a very compassionate way of explaining. Thank you. Well thank you for putting this out there. I've never thought of alcoholism this way. As an alcoholic, A, my body does handle it well. The idea of it doesn't make me sick, even being drunk for days on end won't usually make me throw up but that doesn't mean that starting my day off with vodka is a good idea b. It often doesn't have an immediate dramatic effect, you might not realize for months or even years just what you're doing and just how bad it's gotten because it numbs everything else and makes living just a little bit easier until it doesn't. I understand that feeling entirely. Let me ask, do you have a drug of choice or any vices? It all has to do with how our brains are wired. Some people just really get on with alcohol. Some people it's speed, or weed, or coke, or food, or sex. Some people it's all of them, but they'll still have a favorite they gravitate towards. That sounded like it took a lot of courage to admit to. Thank you for sharing. I hope you're doing better now. I teared up at this comment. I hope that everything turned around for you. I missed my kids first day of preschool because I was in treatment. Then I missed Thanksgiving the next year for the same reason. I can't put my wife and kids through that again. They don't deserve that, and I want to be there for them in the future. 5 years sober here. I found comfort in this motto, be the person your kids think you are. For me it was I went into the bar I went to every day and ordered a shot and a beer to join my friends at video game we played every day golden tea. When I picked it up to bring it to our table my shakes were so violent I spilled half of it on the bar. But from what others have posted, I've been through. The biggest ones that are in my eyes the truest are, showing up to events bringing booze when it's really a place where booze won't be involved. Not going to places if they don't have booze, 
or going to like a pumpkin patch or street fair and the first mission is to find the booze stand, or bring your own like I did. Bringing enough to booze to kill a horse for a casual hangout. Friend and I used to watch football together, like have a few beers and watch the game. I'd bring a 12 pack and a fifth of liquor and most of the time drink it all during the game. Only person drinking to get hammered. Few cocktail casuals? Nah, I'm pounding it to get a buzz as quickly as possible. Drinking in the morning to get rid of the hangover. I used to pull vodka before work. Yep. Drinking to get drunk person here. Thankfully I've cut way back because of my boyfriend. I realized I was embarrassing slash annoying him. So on the occasions I do drink, it's at home. But the last time I drank, while I drank a lot, I did it very slowly. So I wasn't really drunk. In one of my responses, I explained how I have two glasses of wine every night followed by four to six bourbons. Reddit said, guess what, you're a high-functioning alcoholic. I've since paired back. I'm also a high-functioning alcoholic by definition. After work, I can't get drunk off of regular beer and need whiskey by the cup in order to feel drunk. Blackouts and hangovers are rare for me, I'd need to down an entire handle of liquor and not hydrate for either to occur. And for some strange reason, I normally feel better the next morning after being drunk. It's almost like a restful bliss waking up instead of the hangover most people complain about. That's literally the most addictive part of everything, the blissful sleep. After recognizing it, I've since then cut down to one to two a week. Yet somehow, I managed to get two STEM degrees and do my engineering job drinking at least two cups of whiskey a night. Edit, for anyone doubting it. It's not the first time I've ever seen people posting similar experiences of anti-hangovers edit too, thanks to user FKT for introducing me to our slash hangover effect. It turns out there is a community of people experiencing something similar to what I'm describing. To answer common questions, I have trouble sleeping and have been diagnosed with ad slash ADHD. Web link. Reddit link. I got three while cranking it up that way. Went up to a handle every other day while working a terrible job and drinking on the job constantly. I couldn't be replaced so I just kept at it. After leaving that hellhole that habit keeps trying to creep back. I've cut it way back from there, but here's what will happen. As you get older, the ability to process that will start to fall off. And once you think I'll quit, I'll just quit, the willpower that makes you succeed can get you through it. Alright. But then you go back and the next time you quit it doesn't feel as easy physically. The next time it's tachycardia for a few days, night sweats. The next time it's dry heaving when you don't get your drink on time, and all the stuff even worse. Each successive withdrawal is worse than the last. Eventually you realize why did I even bother? Because you get to a point where you're drinking at levels that would destroy your friends but you're just working along, but you aren't even getting a decent buzz on. It's just a habit, just what you do. Your sleep quality goes to total crap. And if you're cycling off you'll wake up with the worst crazy anxiety. Or go a couple days only sleeping an hour or two because you can't. It's a bitch kitty. I've mostly made my peace by rationing it. I only drink at home and this handle needs to last me underscore days. Something to help you visibly track it. I don't think I'll ever stop drinking, I like it, honest. But just cutting back the booze in mixed drinks, hey it might be a third of a normal drink for you but you're having a drink, the world is okay. Having my sleep back, actually wanting to eat, and those things rule. It will catch you eventually. Better to quit before trouble. Believe me. I'm 62 started when I was 14. Quit two years ago. Things are so much better. The old man I see in the mirror now looks better than the old drunk I used to see. I drank or did other substances excessively since I was 15. I'm 22 now. Really noticed the impact booze had on me since Corona because my high functioning alcoholic self still managed to do my work and hit the gym regularly. Until work and gyms closed. This past year alone my skin looked so crap. A month of abstaining and I look more like myself. Plus I feel better every day cause I'm not nursing a hangover. One of my favorite quotes from our slash fat philosophy, welcome to academia, the alcohol is to your left. Reddit link. Oh my god, are you my friend? He has an awful personality, barely smiles, needs whiskey whenever he sits down to code, which is all the time, and smokes like a chimney. He also holds a ton of patents, 
has probably innovated some tech that's on your phone. And he can't run a yard, because the cigarettes have effed his lungs that bad. But man is he high functioning. Your point about feeling better the next morning is interesting. I've always wondered if people become alcoholics because they don't experience the usual negatives of drinking. Without the immediate consequences, it would be much harder to justify drinking less. That's pretty much it. I've rarely have hangovers, probability less than 10 a year. I wake up more refreshed after a night of drinking than without. I don't know how to phrase it but it just feels like a really good night's sleep. Same. I usually struggle to get out of bed by 10 am when sober, but after drinking I wake up at dawn and immediately start getting work done. It's like it gives me a huge boost of energy. I'm really curious about what's happening physiologically. I saw your other comment and I think we typically have a similar mental state. I was a high-functioning opiate addict for a while. I do suspect nowadays that it is not feasible in the long run for any drug. Maybe it affects your reward system or something, but I feel like my ability to have initiate and plan and everything has just crashed during the last years. My mother-in-law was like this. She'd go through a handle of scotch in three days but never miss a day of work. She treated her family like crap, never realizing what a mean drunk she was. Before she was 70, she had a series of strokes and died. Three adult kids and none of them were with her when she went. The world is a better place without her. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.